Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you some very unique colored vinyl. Some people don't like colored vinyl because they claim that it's not good, it doesn't sound all that great, but I haven't been able to compare the current color vinyl to a black pressing to do a proper analysis because I don't buy double records and I don't go out seeking colored vinyl or black vinyl. I buy what I can afford and whatever is in the store that I want to listen to. I started pulling all my colored vinyl and I had a lot. I didn't realize how many I actually had. So I picked out of those ones which ones had unique colors. What's unique about these is the pressing process. It's almost like collecting marbles. Each marble is different because of the way that they're made. No marble is the same. Pressing different records and they're mixing the colors, they can never manipulate them to make them the same for another pressing. So these are some of the ones that I have in my collection that are different. Now this one here looks like it's all red, but you can see there's some black in there. And I don't know if that was by mistake or not, but that is Joe Bonapessa Bath Heart Black Coffee. This is a double LP. The other one on, on the inside is solid red and does not have any of those black marks. This one here is not a mistake. This is a Peter Green Little Dreamer. This is a special edition one that they came out with. It's orange vinyl, but it also has black streaks in it. But it's quite obvious that these ones here are not mistakes. Now I think probably back in the day when they came out with uh, colored vinyl uh, gave a bad taste to some older collectors because they did not sound all that great. But the ones that are coming out now do. This is an example of one that does not sound all that great. This is a limited edition from back in the day, Rolling Stones on Color Final on Decca Records. And Decca is usually sounds really good, but this particular color final does not sound good. Now we're going to start getting into some really fancy ones that are almost like artwork. This is the Glorious Sons record here. They came out record store day, I believe it was last year with this, and they decided to come out with a really special looking clear final with these really nice, it's like, teardrop splatter work going on. It has green and blue on a clear vinyl. This record was sent to me quite a few years ago. May not know who he is, but he has a very nice looking record and jacket and his story, if I can remember how to say his name, uh, Stoy Snack. This is Screaming Songwriter. And the record jacket is one of the best record jackets I have ever seen as far as presentable but check out his record as well now that is really pretty it's like an army but army colors but it's actually see-through as well next one is a soundtrack one of my favorite shows that I used to watch years ago and that is the Sopranos and this is a double LP, and I'll show you one of them. It's clear, but has black streaks in it as well, which looks really cool. Especially if you had a light some people put underneath it, their acrylic platters, and it would shine up through the acrylic platter and through this as well. This next one did a really cool one as well, and this is Meat Puppets, Dusty Notes. Really nice gatefold as well. But their final looks like this. This is not see-through, but it has a really nice, unique design throughout the final. I think everyone has this one in their collection because when it came out, everyone went crazy and needed to get it. And the final was beautiful. And that was one of the selling points, I believe, why a lot of people picked it up and still continue to pick it up. This is the 30th anniversary Bob Marley record. 
This is see-through, so you could shine a light through this as well if you had a platter. Like I said before, this is really nice. This last one is really, really cool too. And it's actually a double LP, Buddy Guys album here, Live at Legends. And both of the records have a unique design on them as well. The white part isn't see-through, transparent, but the blue part is. And it's really cool because it blends right in and almost looks like a mountain or iceberg coming out of the snow, which is really cool. It blends in really nice. So these are the ones that I found in my collection that were really unique that I really enjoyed. And once again, when you hear people say that the records don't sound good on these, my personal opinion, and this is only mine, I have not found a difference. But like I say, I don't own these particular records on black vinyl, so I really don't know. And it doesn't really bother me, and I don't want to find out to tell you the truth. That's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you tomorrow in another episode. Thank you for watching Golden Final Spin. Until next time, remember, keep spinning.